Hey everybody, I'm gonna do a quick little haul. I'm gonna go quickly because a lot of my stuff is melting, but I just went to Whole Foods and I got a ton of stuff. And a lot of it is um, staples that I really like to keep on hand to make quick, easy meals, so I thought it would be useful to share. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is all of the frozen stuff I got. I got frozen chopped spinach, frozen berries, strawberries, frozen edamame and wild blueberries. I love having frozen food on hand. It's so easy to make a smoothie or a stir fry or just add into a soup. Um, and it's a great way to get vegetable variety if you are trying to save money and also just introduce new fruits and vegetables into your diet. I also got some frozen artichoke hearts, which I really love to add to um, stir fries. And artichokes are an awesome source of prebiotic fiber called inulin. So really great for gut health. I also got some a mix of baby spinach and arugula and getting mixtures of greens is great because you get a couple different varieties of greens and two more plant varieties. So we know that plant variety is really great for gut health. Broccoli. I love these shrimp. They're the Key West peeled and deveined um, shrimp and they're just so easy to saute. Sometimes I'll boil them. I think the texture is a little bit better if you boil them, um, but really awesome to uh, have as a lean protein source. Okay, these were on sale. The Birch Benders waffles. They're gluten-free. I'm not keto, but these are the keto ones and I just love the ingredients. They use eggs, cassava, um, coconut. So these are really easy for quick breakfast. I got some freeze dried strawberries. I love to make um, baked goods and like raw balls with these. I want to do a raw ball that's like rolled in these, crushed so it's pink and pretty. It also is really sweet and adds a good sweetness to baked goods. If you have acid reflux, it's a great way to sweeten a baked good without using chocolate. I got some pre cut celery, really easy to dip, and it just saves time if you have a busy week to get like pre made veggie type stuff. I got some frozen arctic char fillets, another easy protein source, and then this peanut coconut sauce because I want to make a tofu, um, a Thai tofu wrap this week. So I'm going to do like a tofu um, baked with this probably and some coleslaw and just have like a nice easy wrap. I've just been craving that for some reason. So that's what I'm going to make for lunches a couple days. Okay. I eat a ton of eggs, so I got a really big container of eggs. I use these in my protein pancakes. I hard boil them for snacks. I have them on toast, just super easy, and I go through them really quick. I also got some spray coconut oil for my always pan, and I got some taco seasoning. I like to just do half of this for like a pound of ground turkey or ground chicken. I got these um, Belinsky's lemon herb chicken lemon herb chicken sausage, and I've never tried these, but really easy protein. Let's see what else. Some canned pumpkin. Maybe I'll start doing some pumpkin raw balls or some pumpkin overnight oats. I got a pre-mixed or a not pre-mixed, but a salad kit that has a bunch of different greens, and I'm going to use this for my Thai lettuce wraps, egg whites for protein waffles. I got some almond milk. I actually do like to get the almond breeze and I know some people have questions about gums, but the gums have never bothered my stomach and it has added calcium. So that's why I get that one. I got some hummus and some Brazil nuts, really great source of selenium. Love these. I try to have at least two a day. Okay, almost done. One more bag. I got some more fresh spinach, which if I don't use, I will throw it in the freezer and then I can also use it for smoothies. Some more frozen berries, some frozen cauliflower rice, just to add in some cauliflower. I also mix this into like a fried rice for some more veggies and fiber. Let's see what else. Okay, last but not least, I got some rainbow carrots. It's always a good idea to get the rainbow variety of things because you're gonna be getting different nutrients, different phytonutrients with all different colors. 
And then some zucchini. This is some local zucchini. I'm going to saute this, but I'll also freeze some for smoothies. And how I do that is I just well, I just um, peel it and then chop it and freeze it in a, and keep it in a bag in the freezer. All right, I think that's it. I hope this was helpful. And um, yeah, let me know if you wanna see more haul stuff type like this. And let me know in the comments how your day's going, any questions, or if you're gonna try any of these things that I got today. Super simple, just some basics, lots of produce, but the frozen stuff is just so easy. And I want to show how much of my produce really is frozen because if you're a student it's just a great affordable way to get in a variety of fruits and vegetables all right i think i think that's it i feel like i'm forgetting something but all right guys have a great day